and welcome, I'm your code monkey. And Unity has identified a pretty massive security vulnerability. That sounds pretty scary, but thankfully after reading through the whole thing, thankfully it doesn't seem there's much to worry about. So I got this email just a day ago. Although I also saw some reports from people that didn't get this email. So I just wanted to make this quick video just to let all of you know that this is going on. If you open up Unity Hub, you might see this little warning sign saying that applications built with this editor version have a known security issue. So seeing all this red over here and all this red over here, that might be quite scary. A security vulnerability was identified that affects games and applications built on Unity versions 2017 and later. Meaning this is not the editor itself, but rather things built with the editor. So any games or applications, anything you built with these Unity versions, anything made with those will have this vulnerability. And this one works on Android, Windows, Linux, macOS, so pretty much everything. They do say there's no evidence of exploitation of the vulnerability, nor has there been any impact on users or customers. This was all identified by a security researcher. So thankfully it seems nothing horrible has happened just yet. And thankfully Unity is actually doing the right thing, they're being very proactive. So over here we have proactively provide fixes that address the vulnerability, and they're already available for all developers. If you're on Unity Hub and you're scared of seeing this security alert, then it's very simple. Just go ahead and install the editor. And over here, you can already see all of the brand new versions. All of these already have the fix applied. So you just install one of these versions, install whatever is the latest version for whatever you're currently using. And then just go into your projects tab. And over here, if you see one of these that has the warning, just click on it and swap to one of these valid versions. For the most part, as long as you're only updating the hotfix version, like for example, over here, going from Unity 6, 0.56 to 0.58, as long as you update just that hotfix version, chances are there's no issues whatsoever. It really is just bug fixes, so nothing should break. But as always when upgrading, always have a backup just in case. But yep, so for your brand new projects, you can just go ahead, use the new version, and that will get rid of that warning. No longer has that vulnerability. But of course, the main thing is, again, it's how you need to protect your games and apps. However, like I said, thankfully, there's not too much to worry about because, again, they've been very proactive with this. This is a pretty massive vulnerability that goes back to games and applications using Unity 2017 or later. So that's pretty much a ton of games that were released in the past, what is it, seven years? That is quite a lot of time, quite a lot of games. And over here, so what action should you take? So if your project is in development, really just download the latest updated version. So really what I just said. But then importantly, for games and applications already built, they say we strongly recommend you download the patch update for your version of the Unity Editor, recompile and republish your application, which for some developers can be quite a lot of work. So thankfully, they did another thing. So they said we have provided a tool to patch already built applications dating back to 2017. So for example, if you can't find all the source code for your project stuff like seven years ago, if you can't find those, you can really just patch the exact executable and that will patch the security vulnerability. But specifically for Windows, PC, Steam developers, for that specifically they said, so if your application targets Windows, for Windows-based applications, Microsoft Defender has been updated and will detect and block the vulnerability, and Valve will also issue additional protections for the same client. So I am not a security researcher, I don't know too much about security, but based on what I'm reading here, based on this, it seems like Valve itself will be able to apply protections on the Valve side. So even if the hundreds or let's say thousands of developers that have made thousands of games in the past seven years, even if those don't apply that patch, hopefully this protection over here on the backend of Valve and Windows, hopefully this won't be enough to pretty much make sure the vulnerability gets addressed and nobody exploits it. At least that's what I'm understanding from reading this. The only big thing is what they say here. So if your application employs tamper-proof or anti-cheat solutions, usually these kinds of things, they'll listen to other programs that interact with your executable. So by patching it, you are basically going to modify the executable. So it might cause a bunch of issues with these anti-cheat solutions. And for these, if you do have that, if you are using anti-cheat, then chances are you really do need to rebuild your whole project using the patched, updated Unity Editor version. Then for other platforms, so for Horizon OS, so MetaDevice have implemented mitigations that vulnerable Unity apps running on Horizon OS cannot be exploited, so that's great. Apparently no need to do anything if you're on this. For Linux, same thing. Apparently the vulnerability presents a much lower risk to Linux users. And for all other platforms, including iOS, there have been no findings to suggest vulnerability is exploitable. They also post about this on Reddit and also on their own discussion forum. So over here, they also have an FAQ with a bunch more questions. And for me, the most important thing, since I make PC Steam games, for me, the most important one is over here, this one, like I said. So are there protections in place for games on Steam? So we have spoken with Valve. They will issue additional protections for the Steam client. For Windows, Microsoft Defender has been updated and will detect and block the vulnerability. So that's why, as far as I understand, even though this seems to be a serious vulnerability, like it allows an exploiter and attacker to run arbitrary code, which usually is a pretty bad thing, but because this, it appears that this means that Valve themselves on the back end and Microsoft Defender, they can pretty much block the vulnerability. So even games that don't get patched by the developers, even those hopefully should be safe, at least from my understanding. They've got an entire guide on how to apply the patch. So you can go over here onto this page, you can access the patching tool, and then you can see everything this is going to do. Or if you're more of a security researcher yourself, if you're more interested in pretty much the backend for how this whole thing works, if so, you can actually read the entire report on this security exploit. So this one was published by a security engineer, and this whole thing apparently was discovered during the Meta Bug Bounty Research Conference in 2025, so in May of 2025. 
If you're curious about how it works, they actually explain the whole thing here. Basically, this vulnerability allows malicious intents to control command line arguments past Unity applications, enabling attackers to load arbitrary shared libraries and execute malicious code depending on the platform. Here it talks about all the technical details. So again, if you're interested, you can go ahead and watch this page. You can see everything, how it has to do with the command line arguments and apparently it loads a specific library and then various ways on how this can be attacked in various ways. So yeah, if you're currently working on a game, go ahead and install the editor and install the latest version that already has the patch applied. And if you have executables, you can use the patching tool in order to patch it directly. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.